And I think you probably all agree that the second you start testing, you realize that your gut stinks. You realize that you really don't, you really can't predict all these things. And how could you? Because you don't know who your visitors are. If, you, if my mom walked into the shop and asked, you know, if you were selling sandwiches and my mum walked into the store, you wouldn't know what she wanted because you don't know her. And if you don't know your visitors all in that kind of detail, how do you know whether, you know, what's affecting them? The only way to be absolutely sure is to test. So here's a little quiz with a few examples. Most of the actual research for, uh, for marketing comes from the offline world. There's, a, there's surprisingly little in the online world. So, Here's a few headlines, just the headlines for articles, and I want you to see if you can guess which of these won. In, these were in print adverts, like display adverts. So the first one is an advert for, for car insurance. And the first headline is, if you're a careful driver, you can save money on car insurance. And the second headline they tested was, how to turn your careful driving into money. The rest of the ad was the same. So if you want to have, guess which one of those was the winner. Put your hands up if you, if you think it was A. Wow, one, two, three, four. 13 people out of, 14 people out of, is how many in the room? About 200. 14 out of 200, wow. A actually increased, A had 50% more orders than B. So basically, the f 14 people or whatever it was in the room who would have decided on the A headline, their companies are now 50% bigger than everyone else's. And if you think of that, that's mind-blowing because without testing, could you imagine how scary it would be to think you were running a company or an advert or a landing page where, where you'd made a decision that had knocked the business by one-third? And the amazing thing about the people who are testing is not only that they end up with this headline, it's that the following week they're testing this against a tweaked version of this and they're going further and further up. Wow. So the next one, you can see how, de how old this result was because direct response people, people who in offline advertising, they've been doing this for decades. Uh, how to get a loan of £250. <laughs> you can't even get a loan for £250 these days. Versus when should a family get a loan? Who thinks A would have won in the advert split test? That's quite a few, I reckon that's about half to you, but less than half. And who thinks B? Just to check that everyone's, yeah, it's about half people thought A. A won by over 100% extra. So basically the people who picked A, their companies are now more than double the size they would have been than if they picked A and B. And this is just the headline, because headlines are very important. Headlines are probably more important than you'd realise when you go back to your web pages and look at them next. When you start testing, the headline is deceptively important because it's the point at which the person decides, am I going to stay on this page or should I go? Just do one more. Um, if you can just press play. Okay. This is our website, conversionrexperts.com. And this is one of our visitors, and it's recording how they're actually interacting with the site. What this reveals will just blow your mind, because there'll, there'll be pages that they'll just be stuck on for 10 minutes. They'll be clicking on links that don't, that don't work, or clicking on parts of the navigation that just don't make sense. They'll be pausing on areas where they're either consuming their information or they don't know what to do next. And um, this can record a percentage of all your visitors every day and at the end of the day, you can just watch a video and you'll learn so much about your visitors. And obviously, everything that you, everything that you get from this, you can think about recreating, fixing on your site and then testing the changes. Um, another really good feature of Clicktail is for long pages like this, for the long sales pages, it's very difficult to get the information of how far people scroll down. A lot of people say, oh, short pages are better than long pages. You know, people aren't going to read all that information. They'll never get to the bottom. They'll never get to your call to action. And in the past, it's always been, well, I don't know. Yeah, good, good question. But one of the um, features on Clicktail is that you can actually, it produces a heat map of how far down your site people scroll. 